I got my chiller here, and I'm gonna see if I can use this heat gun to scrape off the old varnish. So the heat gun with the, the scraper worked really good. I got almost all the varnish off. And then I'm just going to go ahead and now just uh, finish it up with some sandpaper and uh, see what I can do about these gray spots that had the varnish worn through. Hopefully I can get it looking a little more even. But that only took maybe 45 minutes. Probably less than that, maybe 30. So here's the tiller after I spent some time sanding on it. There was quite a few spots with this mildew all over it. I kind of had to gouge it out and then kind of touch it up with more sandpaper and it's still not, still a little splotchy too, but it looks way better than before. I got it hanging up, I sanded it down and uh, wiped it down with some acetone. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and put the first coat of varnish on. All right, I got my first coat on there. Looks pretty good. I really like this uh, this hanging jig I got here. Definitely a good call. I think it's gonna save me a lot of time. This. Uh Varnishing this tiller has come, been coming out really good, and I think part of it was using these uh, paint strainers. I didn't use them on the build-up coat, and it was it was just all right. But then I, I used them on the the finished coats I've done, and man, the difference is just incredible. <clears throat> I sanded down the build-up coats, and um, I I been using the the paint strainers for the varnish. Uh, and man, it's coming out so much more smooth. And also, this little, this little light, just shining up and down, is super good for finding, finding all the drips. But I think, I think this might be the last coat. Maybe I'll do one more tomorrow morning. We'll see. Um, I'm just, I'm just really pleased with this. And here is the finished tiller. Really happy with this. Hurts me to drill this hole.